the lilies will open any day now. And the beautiful moss roses. I just love these flowers. They're so pretty. Call me the plant lady and join me while I explore and discover nature. I see sprouts! Ah! Yes! Ah. Very, very nice. Good job, plant! Good job! These we've nicknamed Beyonce because they're fierce because they are drama queens because they require their seeds to be filed down before they get planted. But look at how much they're growing. This was not, a, they were not this high this morning. So crazy. Look at these lemonade cosmos. This is after a week and a half. Oh my gosh. And let's hear our marigolds. So to help protect and repel. Protect the plant and repel against pests. So always have to have marigolds. But look at this. Oh, so exciting. So this is adorable. This sunflower I cut off because the lar there was a larger sunflower on the side. I cut it off and I thought instead of just throwing it away, let's just place it here to see will it regrow. Or at least these little ones bloom. And this one has opened up the little baby sunflower. It's rebloomed. So this is the big sunflower plant that I took the small cutting of the sunflower from. And this is just how it's migrated over the course of the last few days. Absolutely beautiful. Nature is amazing. Looks like a new round of carnations are going to begin. And don't know what I planted over here, but very exciting. Oh, so cute. So earlier I was like, is this a mushroom? No doubt that's a mushroom. Did a quick Google search and apparently mushrooms are good in your garden. It's a sign that your soil is good, it's healthy. And it's also a sign that there is organic matter in your garden, which makes sense because I use organic soil, duh. So should I have expected this? Shoulda. Still a surprise. Oh, look at that. That was not there. Oh my gosh, that was not there. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I think maybe it was like a little bit further down, but oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Nature is freaking amazing. So this container is getting a lot of activity. Uh, lots of, at first I thought these were like bird eggs, but no, they're a bunch of mushrooms and mushrooms are good for the garden. So Google says, look at this sweet pea. Like it is, it is about two inches, an inch and a half high, just popping out. And I saw, oh yeah, there's like another one there trying to, to pop out. There's a little one there. But then while well, I was eating my evening snack after I got home from work, let's see if I can hear this thing. That thing, it was moving. I was like, what are you? I lost it. Where'd it go? There it is. It's like, what are you? I took a picture, Googled, and it's either a slug or, oh, you see it moving? You see it moving? It's either a slug or a caterpillar. And if it's a caterpillar, then that's kind of cool because caterpillars turn into butterflies and this is supposed to create butterflies, like all of these flowers. It's supposed to generate butterflies. And I guess that's a good thing. Either way, caterpillar or slugs, they're good for the garden because they eat things that are bad for the garden. 
And look at this, the sunflowers, these little baby sunflowers. They're like, they're popping off. This is just adorable. These are from a dead plant that is from a sunflower that I deadheaded. And they're, they're blooming. It's remarkable. Also, I noticed this bad guy, or good guy. Someone's in trouble. There's some sirens. Um, I feel like I feel like it's like opening up. It's standing up a little bit more upright. So I don't know if it likes the cooler temps or it's adjusting to the soil. I feel like it's the counterpart over here that this planter may be a little bit too small. I feel like the soil is too dense, too packed in there. So I may replant that into something larger. But a lot going on in this container. A lot. Oh my gosh, there are so, like overnight, there are so many mushrooms in this container. I just did a quick Google search and it says mushrooms are good for the garden because they break down matter and make usable food for the plants. So, <laughs> what's really ironic is marigolds I have in my garden to help prevent bad pests from... Wow, look at that sweet pea. It was not like that yesterday. Last night it was, I didn't have the little, little, the little bit on top of it. Um, but okay, go back to the mushrooms. Um, and, and, and actually I'm looking for the caterpillar from last night. Like I first saw it in this area right here. I don't see it. But um, yeah, these, mer these mushrooms were not here last night and they are just popping up I guess this is good things are still growing the poppies are still growing things are still growing so um, I'll I'll monitor this but I think it's a good thing I think it's a good thing and then check out these seedlings these sprouts from the sunflower chocolate cherry chocolate cherry sunflowers this is after four days. Today is Thursday, May 23rd. Yeah, and I planted these on Saturday. So Saturday to Sunday one, Sunday to Monday two, Monday to Tuesday three, Tuesday to Wednesday four, five days. They're really growing. And then over here in the actual sunflower plant that I bought, I got two popping up over here. It's so cool. And for these Chinese forgiving I had no success growing these last year. I have that seedling and it looks like it's gonna have two friends. Two friends. Oh, absolutely amazing. The lilies will open any day now. Particularly these. Any day. How's this one doing? It's just gonna have so many different blooms on it. Oh my gosh, the daisies are looking fabulous. I gotta get a trellis to push those up. I just think, I initially thought like someone was in here, like an animal, but I don't think so because they're still blooming. They're still blooming. I just think I planted too many seeds. I didn't know what to do because <sighs> last year I was a novice. These are seeds that I planted last year, these daisies, and they bloomed this year. Dolly! Dolly, get from. <laughs> Get from behind here. Yeah, I need to get a trellis to push those up. But, um, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Look at it. Kota, you like it too? We hardly come over here, but they smelling something. Dolly, all a minute. Okay, girls, let's go back inside. Come on, walk us over. Come on, Kota.